You know what? I don't normally make these videos about water cooling or AIOs or any type of coolers. But this one here, I thought it would be worth mentioning because I got it yesterday, right? Um, I wanted to put it in that thing over there uh, because a little tower cooler sometimes gets in the, in the way of taller graphics cards. But this was a worthy um, or worth mentioning, I think, because I have not seen a design like this before. So this is kind of all new to me. Okay, so first I'm gonna take this thing out of the box. Okay, so here's this thing. The one thing I wanted to get before I go any further, I just wanted to mention this here. Okay. And I have not seen this be done with any other coolers. This is just my own subjective opinion, by the way, and as far as I, uh, I am aware. But Arctic, when you buy one of their coolers, like the, the Freezer 3 coolers, by the way, six year warranty, very nice. All right, they do provide you with uh, LGA 1700 contact frame, so you don't have to go and buy one separately. It's already included with your cooler. Very nice. And it's got some cushion here in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Let me see if I can focus with this junk. Yeah, anyway, it looks pretty cool. Look at that. Very nice uh, machine. Nicely machined. I mean, I don't know anything about machining. So to me, anything will look nice, I guess. <laughs> anyway, another cool thing is... Guys, check this out, man. I mean, like you get an actual freaking fan for your VRM. So this will be blowing cool air onto your VRM. So it's got this, you know, fan in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, very nice. Quite the upgrade from the Liquid Freezer 2. You see those contact pins right there? Okay, that makes contact with those pins there. And this is a, a magnetic mounting mechanism that they got going on here. So basically what happens is that you can just pull this off whenever. Like, okay, you can have this thing, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen this, I don't know. And uh, bigger YouTuber channels, you know, whatnot, because they're always up ahead of me. Um, but you can have it like this, right? You can have this thing installed into your system looking all post-apocalyptic you know design or whatever just fine like this and it'll be still you know it'll still work or you can have it with uh, with a little fan okay and this would mount just like that and boom there you have it hmm, the plastic wants to come off okay let's get it off of here don't need you anyway so it would end up looking like this into your system, okay? Now, if you want this to be more efficient, uh, more effective, you wanna have it like this. So let's just say you have it on a tower system, you wanna have it like this, so that the fan can blow out on your left, to your left, where your VRM would be for the V core, and up on top for the SLC or, you know, the others. Yeah, the other VRM, if you do have heat sinks on both top and left side. So that's how you would want this to be mounted like this. Um, and you will get that that air there to cool your VRM. Uh, this is quite the upgrade from the liquid freezer too. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So here is the pump and the little fan running on liquid freezer two. Uh, you see that little fan there barely Believe me, that barely makes any difference. <laughs> I don't think that it, that's helping much with my VRM cooling. But I think that Arctic uh, learned from, from this and uh, upgraded or quite you know, significantly upgraded um, the fan there on the, on the pump. Now this is, this is my main system. This one has the uh, 420 uh, millimeter fan uh, rad. So it's like the biggest radiator that Arctic makes you know the biggest AIO so like I was saying it's quite the upgrade when it comes to VRM cooling and just the uh, modular 
design like you can just pick this up for example like this and it just it comes right off how cool is that i like to i like to see these things where they're actually um things they're making innovation innovative things you know coming up with innovative ideas for the end user and this is this is i thought this would be worth making a video of because i actually i totally dig this this is very nice another thing is that how modular this thing is like you have this cable here that you just plug into the into the housing let me just if i can just get it out of here just like that okay you don't <laughs> you typically don't want to pull it out by the wires but you know what i have no choice so this is also uh interchangeable meaning I believe there's a cable here. Yeah, okay, so you have two options for these cables. This one here goes from there. Okay, so no, sorry guys. Uh, I had to interrupt here. This is the future me updating you on this actual setup here. So what this is, is that you can plug these three fans here to different fan headers on your motherboard. One for the little fan, one for the pump, and the other one for the big fans on the radiator. So you can con control all three elements independently okay independent from each other and then this obviously goes con you know you connect this to the pump which is uh this is probably the way i want to go you know if i have or if you want to go this way you have to keep in mind that you have to have enough fan headers on your motherboard if not you have to use the other cable so yeah i just wanted to uh correct myself there because i, I really did not understand at first what I was looking at so okay let's get back to the video now with this cable alone this one cable alone you would control the pump and also because the the wires are hidden inside the sleeves here um, the mesh you would also control the fans so this one cable here controls everything so one cable you control the fans and the pumps so you can see the daisy chain setup that they got going on here so they got this fan you know connected here and then they got the other one down there so it's all it's all daisy chained together which is really convenient and neat if you are a cable management cable management freak and you want your setup to look clean this will be the right choice to go with not to mention how thick this freaking radiator is i mean this is just a housing like the outside you know what i mean like you would have, i would have to measure the actual from the actual radiator from the fins from the fin stack but as you can tell i've noticed that some radiators like the distance between between the fin stack and the housing is pretty deep so the radiator will be really sunk in there not here if you look really closely you don't have that much room so you don't want to use you know long screws to mount this because it'll go right into your radiator you don't want that but at the same time at the same time it means that you're actually getting a ton of, of surface like cooling surface with the fence stack being so thick you know so wide and just yeah and another thing too is that um, these fans i have a bit of experience with these fans these are actually really really good fans they're pressure st static pressure optimized fans and they really push air through this through these fans in my opinion you want to keep these fans just just keep it as as it is because this is optimized to work with this type of thickness with this type of uh, radiators so that would just be my my opinion also it is as it comes out of the box i didn't mount this fans this is just how it came out of the box and this is set up so that you have it like this for mounting it on the top panel on your case this is not the setup like this is not for mounting it in front of your case in that case you have to swap the fans you have to flip them to the other side if you want to install this in front of your case but optimally i think that this should be at the top you know just the way it is it's very innovative of arctic and i, I really dig the uh, attention to detail here and just just the idea behind the whole thing plus six years warranty i mean that's that says a lot i like how this looks the design if you look really close it doesn't look cheaply made this looks like uh, a lot of thought went into it and just the big 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 little fan there big little fan yeah okay <laughs> uh, quite the upgrade from from the uh, arctic fraser 2 series like i keep i keep saying so you actually have some you, know, you actually have a fan an actual 
fan pulling your VRM. Now, as far as the mounting mechanism, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about that. And no, I'm not going to demonstrate how to install this because you have a manual, you can do this yourself. Hold on, just one second, I can't do this with one hand. All right, so here you have it. So you got your AMD standoffs here with the AMD uh, screws. So basically you just, you, you have to remove the AMD uh, mounting mechanism like the plastic, you know, the black plastic brackets. You have to remove those completely and install these here with this, with these brackets here. So basically the installation is, it's gonna be like this, okay? Just like that to allow you to mount this. So let's see. Mm, you know what? Yeah, to mount it like this on your CPU. Quite simple, very straightforward. Um, as far as Intel, um, I believe these are, no, these are not Intel ones. I believe these are the Intel ones here. Hmm, yeah. I think that with Intel, you probably, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, 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 wait a minute. With Intel, you have to use this. So yeah, so that's why you get these screws here. You get these screws here to go through the uh, LGA uh, contact frame, and then you don't need these brackets at all. This becomes your mounting mechanism. So this will go like this, boom, right over your CPU. So yeah, that's it. I mean, very straightforward. Man, I just, I like this. And it feels like this is, uh, it's aluminum, by the way, if you can hear that. Yeah, so yeah, nice little contact frame. But anyway, guys, I mean, I didn't really have much to say about this. I just thought it was worth mentioning. I don't make videos about coolers and things like that. And the reason why I don't do that is because there's more, multiple variables when it comes to like comparing coolers to to one another or even AIOs to tower coolers. Uh, your climate and your the country where you live, your processor type, power consumption of your CPU, your fan setup, how quiet you want your, your, your fans to be set up. So there's multiple variables that come into play. Uh, I mean, yes, you could if I had like a thousand you know, radiators here in tower coolers, I could make a comparison, you know, apples to apples, but it will still be irrelevant. That's why when I see those, those videos by even bigger channels of uh, comparisons um, of these things, it's kind of, it really depends really on your, on your setup. It's going to boil down to your setup. You cannot, they compare all the, uh, all, all these AIOs and tower coolers to, to each other. But at the end of the day, when you buy one of these things, it's all like your your results are not going to mirror what you see on on the video you just watched because what they're doing is comparing each product to each other not telling you what you're going to experience if that makes any sense when you install this into your system so i i, I don't pay attention to those videos and i don't make any comparisons when it comes to cooling like this i used to not anymore because it really 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 all depends on your setup. It really depends on your setup. What I can tell you is that, man, I have experience with with Arctic for many, 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 many years, and these things refuse to die. Like the Arctic Freezer 2 that I have in my main rig over there, that's been going on for two over two years now, and it just refuses to die. And it's up 12, 13 hours a day, and it just, yeah, it works perfectly fine. So with this, uh, with this having a six-year warranty, uh, you can, you know, rest assured you, you're taken care of. So you have this for a while at least. Um, and my understanding also, oops, I almost forgot to mention. My understanding is that they revamped the whole, uh, the pump mechanism here to make uh, improvements to the impeller and, or propeller impeller, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so everything is, uh, is different. So they improved the quality of the housing and also the mechanism inside, uh, you know, the pump itself. So yeah, but very cool, man. Very, very nice. I like it, you know, no mess of wires, just one cable, where is that, where to go? Okay, here we go. One cable that goes to your motherboard, one cable that goes to the pump here, and it's, you know, again, modular. And this one cable controls the pump and the fans. How cool is that? So you can set that in the BIOS how you want it, and that's it, just one cable, no messy, you know, cables all around your case. And these are pretty thick hoses. I mean, pro yeah, granted it's a sleeving that makes, you know, around it that makes it look, makes the hoses look 
thicker than they really are, but they are thicker. Like I can feel the, yeah, I can feel, you know what? Let's see how thick these things are. Okay, so um, now remember there's a sleeving here to account for, so uh, let's see. Okay, so 13 millimeters. Now I'm pushing as hard as I can on this thing. Yeah, so 13 millimeters, uh, you can take maybe one millimeter off of that. So let's just say 12 even, 12 millimeter fans or 12 millimeter fans, 12 millimeter hoses. It's uh, a little bit thicker than the Arctic Freezer 2. I think it's like a millimeter or two thicker, but it might just be the, the housing, like the, the mesh yeah, that makes it look like that. But um, yeah, so that's it guys. I just uh, wanted to bring this up because I thought it was pretty cool. I wasn't, I was not going to make this video, but I just thought that it was worth mentioning like Arctic is making huge steps forward uh, when it comes to their AIOs, proving the, uh, the pump and also like, you know, thinking ahead, like to cool your VRM. They actually use a little fan here and uh, it does work. I have uh, read articles about this here. This is, I have seen other reviewers, you know, review this, not, not this one here. This is the 120, so the, the 240 and this stuff yeah, actually works. So it makes a difference. And instead of a mounting mechanism for the, for, for Intel, you actually get contact frame. Hmm? How cool is that? Like, I don't know anybody else is doing this. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me one of these. If you didn't, for whatever reason, you can do one of these too. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.